How do you operate on your people's prayers? Uh, a pastor is rated by the people who are listening to him. That is why it's good many times to leave people who are always listening to you. If you want to be successful in the ministry, you need to know that pastors are rated by these people listening to you. If they don't have faith, you won't do any miracle. If you don't, they don't have faith with you, because remember they are there. Number one, they become used to your anointing. They read the anointing you have. When you start to see people like that, go out, do crusade, come back. I don't know if you're hearing me. The reasons why today the church is not growing is because of that. I will tell you something, but don't, don't be offended. I'm behaving because Kurumi is here. Kurumi, there's nobody who's bound to take anybody's church. Okay, you can see that. Because your church, you pay the price of it. There's nobody, even if we can give you 100 people, you understand? If you didn't pay the price, they, you will leave them. You will lose all of them. Remember, it says people, they rate you. How far you are in spirit. You understand that? So if you are just praying for people who don't believe in you, you won't see anything. So it's better you teach them. Do you know that when you are teaching them, you know what's the reason why you teach people? You are assessing their faith. I mean, do you know Jesus? These people. You are assessing their faith. The, Jesus spent time teaching people so that they assess him. And then when he asks, you find that they don't know him. He could still say to them, you see what? You guys, you understand? I've already told you. Are you Messiah? There was a time they corner him. You remember that? And ask him, are you really? <laughs> so I've already told you. Did they believe? No. So the reasons why the church today doesn't have miracles is people in church who don't believe. They are there to be used by Satan. They are there in church. The, the battle is in church. The battle is not outside there. If you go outside there, you begin to say, Jesus is Lord. They say, ah, oh, what's that? And they go outside. But this one in church, they are there either to lift you up or to draw you down. So today you're asking yourself, why people are not delivered in your church? They don't believe in you. So no one can take anybody's church. Why? Because your church, are you hearing that? You pay price of it. There are some people who have paid price that you will never stop them until they die. Until they die. They, they paid price. I was telling Mama uh, this morning that the price that you pay, you see the church is small. Eh? Don't ever think the church is small. No, 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 no. It's preparation. God is preparing you for the, maybe for, for international ministry or national ministry. God is looking at you at small church, how faithful you are. And check, can we take this one international? Remember the Bible says, he himself, he decides by the spirit that is in you. He gave you a spirit, he look at you. How jealous are you with the spirit you have, with the things of the spirit, how you conduct yourself? So why I say no one can take your church, listen to this. A church and activities in the church are the results of your fellowship with God. It's not a business. 
I was speaking with my brother about this thing. It's not a business. What I'm doing here is, what, you see, I've come here. What I'm speaking with you here, I get this thing when I'm busy wrestling. You hear that? Eh? This is just a bonus. After the wrestling that I have with the presence of God, when I come to church, I do the bonus. I don't know if you're hearing that. These are the fruits, college fruits, if you want. That's what the Bible says. We'll know you by what? By the fruits, how far you spend with God. And now you come out here. Are you hearing that? Listen, if you don't spend enough time with God, when you come out here, it's zero. When you come out here, so therefore people can affect you or yourself. But the first thing here is people. They affected Moses. They affected Moses to the extent that the approach of Moses to God was affected. Eh? I mean, the approach of Moses to God was what? Affected. People affect your approach. How you fellowship with him. Whatever we are, when we are praying for you here, it's not ministry. You call it ministry. It's not ministry. Pray for you. When people fall and anoint, it's not ministry. Ministry is fellowship with him. Fellowship. You are called to have fellowship. Whatever you are doing with God there is called what? Ministry. What you come and do here is the fruits of what? Of the ministry. So we know your ministry eh? by what, but what you are doing here. You understand? You are spending time here with God. How do you spend time with God? We are not the same. You hear me say, I'm coming here to operate on what? On your prayers. Because you're not the same. You're not the same. I have my own time with God, this side. When I come here, oh, my own time with God won't affect you. It affects myself. But how far do you believe matters? I don't know if you're hearing me. Are you hearing that? So don't just rush to say, I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor. I don't know, you are not. You are not. You are pastor by the fellowship. You have been called to come close to God. Are you hearing that? What you are doing with him outside of the anybody, anybody, when there's nobody, is then you'll be someone to go and do what you're supposed to do outside there. Uh, me, when I used to go to the bush and pray, when I come back here, I told people here, I, Baman knows what I'm talking about. I'll be having a light. This light is, is in front of me. All the time, this light will I stand like this. This light, what she will do in front of me, it will make me to laugh sometimes alone. But I'll have peace. I'll, have, I'll be guarded by that light there. Because there's a way that God can work with you. Maybe he's working with you somehow that he doesn't work with others. Me, I'll be guarded by my own light. I'll be, oh. I was telling my mother that always I said, I'm pretty considering this light that I'm seeing. Because the moment when I keep quiet and I try to focus, I see this light. I, if I don't see this light, I get concerned. Are you hearing me? If I don't see this light, I begin to say, what is happening with me? Because I know that ministry is not what I'm going to do now here. I have a fellowship in the... Co Are you hearing me, what I'm trying to say? Eh? So from today, don't talk too much. Don't, don't ever think you can take someone's church who have suffered for it. Because... What this light that I'm getting is out of the suffering I went through. You pay the price. Tell me, you pay the price. So you don't wait for other people to pay the price you want to take over. It doesn't work that, like that. In other words, you don't, you don't come to church here, you are looking whom you can recruit to be with you. You are in danger. Because you don't have any experience with him. 
in the side of something called your calling of the ministry is there. The calling of your ministry is here with him. Are you hearing that? It's here. Eh? You, you are leaving the calling of your ministry that you get here. You come here, you say, you know what? I can have this church. You know what? I'm going to lodge. You know what? You are, in, you are crazy. Jesus will look at you and say, I don't know you in the last day. In the last day, you'll be called, I don't know you. So, ah, I've been praying for people. I've been doing this. I don't know you. We have never met. We never sit down together and we talk about this. So listen to this. It is time now that you discover the light on you. Tell me, you need to discover the light on you. You know, you people here, you think Christianity is, I want that one, and I want that one, I want that one. I want to launch the ministry there. Oh, it's a shame if you're doing that. The same people will kill you because you won't be able to stand the test. Remember, you are tested by what? By people. They will read you. Last time I told people, I said, it's better you don't start than you start. Because once you have started, you have joined people who have failed. You have joined people. You, you, you go to a place, you say, no, this place, you hear, you look around and realize there's nothing here. You must vacate the place. Because there's something that you're connected with. It's not there. He's searching for you somewhere. Remember what happened to David? You remember? Eh? The Bible says when David, when there was a war, and David didn't go to the, to what? To the battle, isn't it? And the spirit of what? Spirit of God was searching for him there. The spirit of God was searching for him there. Him, he started to climb the roof and walk around and he had a different assignment. I think we are, we are busy with wrong assignment if we don't discover. Uh, what I'm talking about here is the light. You, you, you sit with people. That's why, that's why you heard David says, me, I cannot, there are people I cannot sit with them. You remember when David says something like that? I cannot sit with the scornful. Hmm? David was referring to them because if he sit with them, he, what God has given him, it will grow dim. If you are, if you are hearing me say amen, 